Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you what's in my bag. This is the bag I'm talking about. This is the Gucci Dionysus um, in the black leather in the small size. Um, this is an older, smaller version. So it doesn't come with the longer strap. So you can see this is like the only way I can wear the bag. Um, I know there is a small size also that comes with like a longer chain, but this isn't that version. Um, so this video came requested from one of you in uh, one of my older Gucci Dionysus videos. It makes me happy that there are still people out there considering this bag because they still use it um, quite a bit, although um, this is no longer my day-to-day -day bag. It's a little bit small for me right now with a baby, but um, if I'm going out for a dressier occasion or if I know I'm gonna have a separate diaper bag and I don't need to really pack all of the baby stuff along with my day-to-day -day essentials, I still do reach for this bag. So hope you guys enjoy this video and find this video helpful and let's get right into it. So the bag I'm currently using is the Goyard Mini Anjou. So as you guys know, this became um, my favorite really really quickly because it can fit all my daily essentials along with a diaper there is a diaper in there and a small pack of wipes um, now i'm going to show you guys what all fits in the gucci dion cyst so i'll migrate some of my belongings from the goyer mini Andrew into the gucci dion cyst. so First things first, I will um, put the stuff that I must carry in this bag. I'm not gonna bother with the diaper and the small pack of wipes because you gotta maximize um, the capacity, you know? So there are two main compartments and there is a slip pocket in the middle. There's nothing in here right now. So let me show you what, I'm, what I would normally fit in the Gucci Dionysus. Okay. So I have my phone that is a must. I would normally fit it in the front pocket because I reach for it quite a bit. I would also need to fit my AirPods. Um, I'll put this in the front pocket also. So if it's like that, um, I'm currently using my Goyard uh, mini pouch that comes with the back that has my wallet. So I'll just put that in right there. All slides pretty nicely. I would say the front pocket still has a little bit of a room. So I would try to fit my six ring key holder in here. And while uh, I have an older car key, so you can see it'll probably stick out here. So that wouldn't close, but um, if you had a newer car, my car is from 2013, has the old key as you can see sticking out. So I would need to fit this kind of the long way, but I think it'll still fit in here. Um, I do have my shades. This is the Key Australia sunglasses. It's the only pair of sunglasses that I ever wear. So it does fit in the back. i um, not sure whether this will all close, but let's, let's see. And I do have a little pouch with a little bit of cosmetics in here. Um, I would normally not carry the little pouch in here even because that still takes up space. So I will just take out the small things that I have and kind of put them individually. So I still have a little bit of space in the back, so I'll try to put all this in the back. So I have a hand cream, little hand sanitizer. Um, I also have a pack gun put in the back and a tube of lisp lipstick. So that's all I would want to carry as my day to day. I have a feeling this would not fit. As you can see, it's packed quite full. Um, and it does not close. So I'll have to take a few things out. If I were to close it, you can see it deforms the back quite a bit. So I would not carry all this stuff. Um, what I would take out is probably the sunglasses. I'm gonna see if I can fit it in without the case. So took the sunglasses out. There's plenty of room here now and definitely closes. So as you can see, it's not deformed on the side. The front looks fine. Um, and this is with the front pocket uh, being quite full. So if I have my sunglasses without the case, let's see if it still closes well. So I'll put the sunglasses kind of on top in the back. Then it closes without a problem. Okay, so it looks like the main thing that couldn't fit in there is the sunglasses case because it is quite bulky, but everything else kind of fits fine in here. Um, in fact, without the sunglasses case, I think there's room probably for a small pack of tissues in the middle compartment. So I'm gonna 
put a pack of wet ones and a pack of tissues because you always need the two um, nowadays and with a baby. So I'm going to put that in the middle zip compartment and I'll have it zipped it up. And it closes. Um, it's a little bit of a tight fit as you can see the front is quite full. Um, so if I were to carry stuff like this all the time, I think I'll feel a little bit uncomfortable having the front packed quite tightly um, because I think the six from Kielder takes quite a bit of a space. So what I normally do is I take the keys out of my key holder, which rarely ever happens nowadays, and I use this instead. So this is what I would insert of my six room key holder in my wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton key pouch. It does have a hook for your keys and I can fit basically all of my cards in here along with some folded cash. So let me show you guys what that would look like uh, without the six room key holder and the wallet and my Gucci Dionysus. So bag look like this with the wallet and the six room key holder. I'm gonna take those two out and put my um, key pouch instead and see if that works better. Of course, the key pouch right now is empty, but I mean, it stays basically the same width even when it's fully stuffed. And with that, the bag definitely feels a lot more comfortable. I can feel that there's a lot more space in here, but this basically still uh, means I'm able to carry all of my basic day-to-day um, -day essentials in this bag. So anyway, that was my short what's in my bag video, uh, rather what can fit in my Gucci Dionysus and what I would carry on a day-to-day -day basis. So hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any more questions about this bag. Some people may think that this bag is no longer really popular, but to me, it's still a really good um, classic looking black bag for me. Um, that's fairly more affordable compared to some of the alternatives like um, the Chanel classic flaps or even the Saint Laurent uh, bags. So it's still one of my favorites and it's something that I continue to use and I look forward to using. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.